Hey guys, welcome back to Nexus Core. I'm Richard and we're back with another unboxing today. It's been a minute and I feel like we just had set three, but here we are, set four is already here and we're getting Clan Collections volumes three and four in like the next few weeks. So these, these booster sets are kind of flying by, but we're just gonna go ahead and get started with the next one. Whoa. It is Awakening of Ch Ch Chabrathi. Chakrabarthi. It's the Nirvana card. The Awakening of Chakrabarthi. Well, the main thing this set's uh, introducing is the new Great Fours, which are, you can see them on the back. It's uh, Magnolia. Uh, Magnolia, Bruce, Nirvana, uh, Bastion and Seraph Snow, the, the Great Threes from the uh, start decks, they have Great Four versions of them. They have Triple Drive. They have modified skills that make them buffs of their Great Three variants. So what I really like about these Great Fours is the fact that they you can buy the start deck and you can just add in these new cards right from the get-go. And it's really easy to update these decks um, just because of how easily accessible these start decks are. Before I go ahead and crack this box open, I wanna quickly talk about our sponsor for today's video, which is Triple Sleep TCG. If you haven't heard me talk about Triple Sleep TCG yet, it's an online website where you can purchase playset bundles, sleeves, character sleeves, and oversleeves so you can protect your character sleeves because they're nice and shiny and you wanna keep them protected. And as well, they have an online vendor on TCG Player as well. You can check them out there if you wanna buy your singles and support them there as well. How it works for the play sets is you go in, you pick a set that you want, and you get a full play set or four copies of each base rarity going from common to triple R. You get exactly four copies of each card within a specific nation or clan from that set. So if you need to update your deck, but you don't want to have to worry about buying the individual singles on the day of release or within the two weeks, you can pre-order play sets of upcoming booster sets so that by the time the set is released, you'll have it mailed to you and you'll be able to update your deck really easily. This is really convenient for Overdress just because everything is more nation focused rather than clan focused. So if you're focusing around building a deck within around a certain nation or multiple decks around a certain nation, having those extra copies of those cards is gonna help you in the future because you just have all the play sets from buying these bundles as times go on. I highly recommend you guys check out Triple Sleeve TCG at their website at triplesleeptcg.com to check out their bundles, their play sets, and their other accessories that they have for Card Fight Vanguard. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this box open, shall we? All right, so we got our new set, Awakening of the Chakrabarthi for DBT04 D-Series Overdress. And I'm gonna go ahead, get started, cut this baby right open. A special two of the day is brute strength. Baby, let's go. There we go. No cards were damaged in the process of opening this box, I swear. Then pop this open. Ooh, that looks dope. Look at that. We got some uh, character sleeves that come with this as well. So every box looks like it comes with a little box topper of these character sleeves for the new grade four units. This one's Magnolia. So gonna have to figure out who's gonna be uh, getting these in the near future, but that's really cool. I'm not gonna open them up right away. I'll maybe uh, go ahead and look at them in a little bit just cause I wanna see what else is uh, in here. So we got the little advertisement for Overdress and a Zero and Groovy Mix, just the, the usual things that you'll see in a booster box. Each box usually has 16 packs. I'm gonna double check and see what we're at. So we got four and four. So it's eight there and yeah, another eight there. So we got all 16 packs. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna open this thing up just to take a look. Should be four sleeves because the pack is looks pretty small. Let's see what the quality is. Yeah, so we got some four sleeves. They feel pretty good actually for the most part. So these are actually really good durability in sleeves. I like these a lot. So if you're looking to get some just decent character sleeves when you get a box. Surprise, surprise, you get some really, really cool sleeves. So let's go ahead and start opening up some booster packs. Booster pack number one. Let's get started. So we got an order card for Basraga. So it's the one where that lets you add the arms back to, from drop to hand. Uh, Diablo's Common, a uh, golden shiny order card for, um, what's his name? Greedon. Uh, more Gravidia support, uh, more Gravidia support, I'm assuming. We got a rare, which is more, um, I mean, this already looks like Seraph's no support, but what's it do? Um, when your opponent's rigor is placed other from hand, you can rest that unit, so that's kind of a control card. 
Cool, we already got our first triple heart. Uh, Keter Sanctuary card, mostly for Hex Orb, I'm assuming. It's at the end of the battle that your dry check reveals a trigger. If you have Vanguard's Hex Orb, I was right. Kind of plus one, soul plus one, choose one of your other regrets and stand it. And you retire this unit. So multi-attacking, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for our first pack. We already got our first triple R. So every box is guaranteed, I think, three triple R and one SP. So we already got one down. We have two more SPs. I'm sorry, two more triple R and one SP to go. So let's go ahead and kind of plow through this blaster support during your turn. If you two or more were retired by the cost of a blaster, this gets 10K. Uh, Brant Gate, uh, card that gets shield if you have a grade four. Uh, choose one of your rear guards and it gets 10k. Uh, order card that's choose a grade two or greater from the drop and put them on top of your deck. Yeah. Uh, if you have no cards in the same column, this gets power 10k. Double R. So there's another kind of sanctuary card. We got Totohime. Totohene. No completely mispronounced that. At the end of the battle that your unit attack count plus one, perform all the following according to the trigger. So if you get a crit, you choose one of your opponent's rear guards and you put it on the bottom of their deck. If you get a front, you choose one of your grade two or less rear guards and you stand it. So that's actually uh, that's actually pretty good. All right, so that was it for that. Going on to pack number three. Uh, very generic uh, Stoicaea grade three. Another very generic Stoic Kia, grade three. Uh, grade two, if you have a grade three in the same column, it gets 5k. A uh, grade three, that's if it's standby Vanguard Billy, choose one of the rear guards and it gets 5k. Brave Shooter, if you have flagship uh, flag bird dragon, this gets 5k. Now this is placed on back row. If you have, you can have this unit get 10k, and if you do, it cannot be moved to other circles. We've got a hollow. So, so hollows are cards that usually come as commons or rares, but, um, you can have them foiled out, which is nice. So what this one does is this unit is placed on the guard circle, choose when you're grade two or greater that's being attacked. It gets 10K to the end of battle. And if you have a grade four card, this gets 20. Uh, yeah, gets 20 instead of 10. So it let, basically allows you to add more power to your current Vanguard. So this is used in a lot of the new Bastion decks. So pretty good card to have a foil of. So I'm gonna hold on to that. So that's cool. That was our third pack. Going into pack number four. All right. Order card. Uh, when this is uh, this is played by Soul Blast 2, imprison all your opponent's back row rear guards into your prison. That seems pretty decent, um, especially if your goal is to just imprison as fast as possible. I feel like people fill up the back row in standard pretty easily. If your vanguard is greed on, count plus one, discard a card from your hand, choose a grade three or less from your soul and call it to rear, so that helps you feel your rear guard circle. The new Blaze Maidens, uh, when it's placed from rear, if your Vanguard's grade through your grade, so plus one that gets 10k. Uh, if you're in Final Rush, uh, you, all of your other units, same column, get 5k. We got another Golden Order card. This one is for Stoicaea, you so plus one, you draw a card, choose one of your units that gets 5k for each order card with different names in your drop and bind zone in total. So Zorga card for defense. Uh, another Zorga card. When the attack, this unit boosts, it hits a Vanguard, bind an order from your drop. Choose an order from your drop, put it in your hand, so recycling and whoa, hello, SP Bastion Prime. Look at that, that looks sick. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, have a read through. During your turn, all of your front row units get 2k. Uh, van once per turn at the end of the battle where your drive check reveals a grade through your grader. You put a card with Bastion's name from your hand or soul into the drop. Stand all your grade threes rear guards and they get 10k. That looks really, really nice. Wow, look at that. That was it, that was our main foil. So there's our SP for the box. That looks so good. Damn, it's awesome. We, could, we picked up Bastion. <laughs> All right, cool. I can't wait to see what the what we get in the rest of this box. All right, so keep it going. Uh, Dragon Empire, common, Brant Gate stuff. Brant Gate stuff, another of the uh, Embrace Dragon. We had a hollow of it earlier. Um, this looks like a Hexor Pentagloom support. This is a new Meteor card. So this is gonna be the new Meteor that you can run in Gravidia. What it does is um, you place it, you 
place it into the order zone. When you would count the number of your meteorite cards put from your order zone to your drop for the cost of your Vanguard's ability, this counts as two meteors. When this is put into your drop zone, you bind this card and you choose one of your opponent's rear guards and you retire. So it can help you speed up your costs for things. Uh, Pantherio, pretty sure Magnolia cards are using this. It's a pretty decent double R. What does it do? When it's placed on rear, you still bless one. You choose a Panthero from your drop and you call it to an open rear. So it helps you fill your board. When this attacks, if you have Vanguard Magnolia in its name, this gets 5k until the end of the battle. So that's pretty decent for standard. So that was it for that pack. Keeping it going. All right, so we got some Keter Sanctuary Commons, some uh, Green On support, uh, basic Dragon Empire support, basic Dark State support, more Green On support. Um, our rare is Leapnya, which is this card is discarded from your hand during your turn. You soul bless one, call it to your back row as rest. And if this unit is stand, this gets intercepted and can from the back row. So for the most part, it doesn't really seem to be that viable at the moment, but I could see that maybe there could be some opportunities for it in the future. And we got a hollow of Blaze Kick Monk Koke. Um, this is if you still want to play the um, Virena Urger variant of uh, the Nirvana deck. It's when this is placed on rear. Camus one, choose a grade zero from your drop, call to rear in the same column as this, and this unit gets boost. So this is really good because it gets boost, so it kind of helps you set up for the multi-attacking for Virena Urger. It's not really played in the new uh, Virena Nirvana variant with the grade fours as far as I know, but I feel like if you want to play that Urger variant, this is still a really good card to, to have in the meantime. So that was it for that pack. We're gonna keep it going. Next up. Let's see, this looks like very generic Dragon Empire support if I've, if I've ever seen one. So we got Shotgun, Blessing of Hell, Dragon. Choose one of your vanguards of blasters in its name. Being attacked to the about gets 15K. Choose one of your rear guards you may retire. If you do, the vanguard gets another 15K. So that's pretty dope. So another 30k is really helpful in terms of shield. So I could see this being used in premium as well. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for this card as well. Uh, generic rank gate support, generic dark state support. This is the grade one of the other new Blaze Maiden. At the end of the battle, this boosted Blaze Maiden Sonya, which is the grade two. You can bless one retire with Riggins in the same column. Search your for up to one card with a grade equal to your vans or grade plus one or greater. Uh, reveal it and put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. So. This allow if you set this up this way, you, this allows you to search for your um, new Nirvana or your new Virena, whichever card you're looking for. It's a good search setup, but for not for some reason, but I do believe that players for the most part aren't using these two cards as a search engine. They're mostly using um, the order card from set three, which is every time you overdress, you draw a card to kind of help filter through the deck, increase your hand and find your pieces instead of paying the cost. You lose a column, counter blast one. So, but I, but if you're working more on a budget variant, these cards would still be really helpful. The fact that it lets you search for um, any copy of your Vanguard that's, or any card that has the grade greater than your Vanguard. So that's, that's helpful. <laughs> Um, Flint, it's, uh, if your Vanguard is Bastion Prime, this gets 5k, and when it's standby your card's ability, if your opponent's Vanguard's great through a grid, this gets 5k. It's a, it's a whatever card, and it kind of sucks that it's Bastion Prime focused, but who knows. Look at that, Seraph Pure Light. Alright. That looks really dope. Uh, when this is placed on Vanguard Circle, you can bless one, so bless one. And or you soul bless a card with Seraph in his name. Your opponent chooses two cards from their hand, rear, and soul, and imprisons them into your prison. So that's six cards. That's really good. Continuous during your turn, all your front row get 5k for every two of your opponent's imprisoned cards in your prison. If 10 or more cards are imprisoned, all of your front row get a critical. This is such a good card. Like the way it's worded, the way it's designed, the control aspect. Seraph Pure Light is, is just a really, really cool designed card, like A plus card design with this. Heavy on the control with the hand, adding that in there, that's really dope. So I think I really like Pure Light for this set a lot. So I believe that was our second 
triple R, if I'm remembering correctly. So I still know we got one left to go. So next up, we have an order card for flag bird. It's you choose a flag bird on your van rear, gets 20K. So shield, blitz order. Generic Stoicaea order card for Brant. Generic Dragon Empire, generic. These two are funny. So they, they, uh, what it is is when your opponent's rigor is retired during your main phase, you choose one of each other. So this one chooses Uli, and this one chooses um, Dooley, <laughs> and they bounce each other. So you're able to get to like rest two units, retire something Eugene, and then they bounce each other. So you're able to call them back again, and that way you have two standing grade ones. It's kind of funny, but it's like not super practical. But I love the fact that they like bounce each other. It's just, it's just really funny. I like these two. So that's what Uli and Dooley do. Um, this is a great card. Blaze Pole Monk, Red Suji. So don't overlook this rare just because it's a rare. It's when it's placed on rear. Counterblast one, you choose one of your cards to overdress from your drop and you put it into your hand. If your Vanguard's great for you, counter charge. So it's, you get the cost back if you're on the new um, Nirvana, the grade four Nirvana, and it just helps you be able to keep stacking your overdress for that order, like I said earlier, that lets you um, draw every time you overdress. So this is a really great card. Definitely want to keep your eye on that. There's a double R for uh, Seraph Snow. If you have Vanguard Seraph in its name, this gets 5K. And when this unit is placed on rear from hand, if three or more of your unit's cards are imprisoned in your prison, you search your deck for up to one card with the same name as this unit called to rear. So you're filling your board, which is nice. So that was it for that pack. Looks like we got a lot more to go. I think we're only like halfway through with this box. So we got some commons going through those. Uh, this is the new um, Bla Blaze Maiden support. So this this is directly goes with Bazarga. When it's placed on rear, you discard an armed card. You draw a card and this gets 5k. So now you have a, a better 15k beat stick and you get to drop and draw. Um, Dark State support for our rare. We got Rough Tempo Monster. This is when this unit boosts its attack hits, you counter charge. So it's like a budget version of the double R, which is after it boosts, you move to soul and you counter charge. So if you just want a budget version of on hit counter charge, you have that. Let's go. We got Trick Moons. So that's our last uh, triple R for the box. Uh, when this is placed on your back row center rear guard from the drop, you counter charge one so that you call it out with Bav Bavs Raga's skill. And the second skill is when this unit boosts, if this the boost unit gets 10k for each of your sealed, uh, for each card that your Bavs Raga is armed with. So if Bavs Raga has two armed cards, she gets um, plus 20k, which is really, really cool. On top of the fact that Bavs Raga is going to give herself 10k from the spear, the spear or the sword. I believe it's just the sword that gives the 10k, but I don't remember if the spear also gives 10k. But it's just a lot of power coming from that center vanguard column. And the fact that Trick Moon helps you counter charge for cost is also really helpful. So I like Trick Moon a lot. I like I like the idea of like a evil or like trick star dark kind of kind of vibe. Alright, um, Lightning Howl Dragon. Um, this is a really disappointing card, honestly, for the most part. Its art is really dope. Um, rear guard, when your Vanguard attack hits, you may bounce this to your hand. I feel like this is only good in premium just for cost, but even then, there's just way better cards to run. Uh, Singer Disorder, 5 or more, and your Dropper Bind gets 5k. The Flag Bird, Order, Blitz Order. Uh, this is a Bastion card. When this card is revealed, if you have Vanguard Bastion, you put this into your drop. Your opponent puts all the uh, front row rear guards in the bottom of their deck, so that can help if you're playing, trying to play like a Nirvana matchup. But for the most part, you want to run as many grade threes as you can, so it's hard to kind of tech in these like spicy cards, especially when they only work when they're revealed for drive checks. Um, another Kitter Sentry card that looks like it's for Stoicaea. Um, at the end of the battle, you direct reveal the trigger. You still lost one and stand this unit and move it to another open back row. So it helps you get multi attack or multi boosts. This is a rare. It looks like it's supposed to be for blasters. When this unit attacks, if there are no other rear guards, uh, this gets 5k until the end of the turn. And at the end of the battle, you stand this unit. So if you have no board, basically you can kind of like keep swinging with this once per turn. Don't really know how that's gonna go. We got another triple R. Look at that. 
That's cool. So if I'm counting correctly, we have Grade 1, Triple R, Keter, uh, Seraph, uh, Starlight, Trick Moon, and Bastion Prime. And we also got Unrivaled Bruce in the box. So that's cool. We got three, uh, four Triple R in this box. That's dope. So at the start of your right phase, until the end of turn, you final rush. So just like the other Bruce. Um, continuing, at the end of the battle, this unit attack, if you are in final rush, you counter blast one, soul blast five. You stand all of your front row and this gets drive minus two. So I'm like how uh, Dia the Dia the Diablo's Bruce, the one from the start deck, the grade three, it just stands your other two units in the front row, but this one stands itself. Uh, there is a grade three for Dark States, but I believe it gives your Vanguard a crit, so you can apply more pressure with your Vanguard, so you can swing with it twice with a crit. So the Bruce deck just got a major buff with this card, which is really dope. That's awesome though, we got four triple R in our box. Maybe we can go for five. That'd be cool, right? <laughs> uh, generic Diablo support. We saw the this disappointing grade three. We went through that, fly bird order. Uh, what do you do? You're a rare. Back row, during the battle, this unit attacked. When your opponent would call cards from their hand, they must call two or more at a time. So that could be helpful if this is just a simple like 13K poke. You can go swing for 13, but then they have to guard with two at a time to, so you can eat up your opponent's hand. So that could be a helpful card. Uh, you're a double R, Cardinal Draco, uh, Cool Jamid. Cool Jamid is rearguard circle if your world is Dark Knight or Abyssal Dark Knight. This gets boost and can intercept from the back row. Uh, when your world is Abyssal Dark Knight, this gets 10k shield. So it's a 15k shield that can intercept from the back row and it works when it's in your hand. I feel like this is a really good card. I don't know much about Cardinals at the moment, but I feel like this is a great card to be running in the deck. Don't know if you need the space because I know you need to make tokens, but I feel like this would at least make a decent tech. All right, so that was it for that pack. Keeping it going. Pull these boys. Oh, come on, don't be shy. Get out of there. All right, we saw this card earlier, a little disappointing. That one's a little disappointing. Order, greed on support. You are a rare for greed on. Soul. When Greedon is placed on your van, you counter blast one, call this to rear. Fills your board for a counter blast, all right. Uh, Dark States, if your vanguard is Barrel Magnes, put a card from your hand into your soul, and all of your front row gets 5k, and if your soul is 10 or more, it gets 10k instead of five, and that's until end of turn. So you, whatever you have in your front row, get that power, but if you suck them in, pull them back out, they'll lose the power, so that's the only thing. Decent for a rare. Oh, we got a hollowed version of that one card that counter charges. That looks pretty. And that was it for that pack. All right, looks like counting this pack, we have four packs to go. So let's see what we get. The grade two Blaze Maiden, Diablo's card, uh, Seal Dragon support, Cardinal support, uh, an order card for Zorga. What does this do? Your opponent chooses one of their rear guards and retires it. You must choose one card from your drop of the same grade at grade unit your opponent retired and called to rear. So it yeah, fills a board, but I mean, I know you're gonna be Alka magicing, so I guess it could be a decent tech, but I don't really feel like Zorga has that big of a field issue. That could just be me. Oh, I finally got, got one of these. It's the draw triggers with the extra shield. So kind of like how the front triggers in DBTO2 got the skill of if your opponent is grade three or greater, this gets 5K. We got draw triggers and now do the same thing. So now we finally have 10k shield draws officially in Vanguard. They got 4k power, so that's, you know, because trigger with the skill. Um, but these these are great. I mean, these are definitely going to be replacing um, a lot of front triggers that are just using them just for the shield power, but want draws now. This is really, really good. Ooh, double R. This is for Bazarga too. So this is when this is placed on rear. If your vanguard has one arm, you kind of bless one, you choose an arm card from your hand or drop, and you arm it to your vanguard. So this is how you can instantly have two cards armed. Then you can use Bazrarga to call out Trick Moon, and Trick Moon is able to give you that power and that counter charge. And then the second skill is during your turn, if your van has two or more arm cards on it, this gets 5k. So it's an 18k beater, helps you get the arms, and it helps you grab them from drop too. Meaning if you discard an arm, for the cost for going to your ride deck to go into Bavzorga, you can call this, and then that way allows you to get that arm attached to your Vanguard again, 
and that way you know you can have them both ready to go immediately so this is a really good card definitely run it at four in babs Raga, and i'm looking forward to, to playing it in my variant when i built that deck whoa all right let's keep going uh seraph snow stuff stoic chaos stuff i believe this is barrel magni stuff it's soul charge three if your soul has 10 or more cards choose one of your vanguards to get 5k so yeah barrel stuff um when you regret stand if you're in farmers gets 5k yeah, generic support uh something that gets boost uh when the attack from the student bis retire this choose a great form of your soul and call to rear so no yeah, this is a very good generic dart state star card uh, when it's placed on rear, count plus one, and as soon as it gets 5k, if you're in final rush, soul charge two, choose a card from your soul, and call it to an open rear. That's really, that's pretty good, actually, just because it can help you fill your boards. But I don't know if people are going to be running this, because I feel like there's a lot of other really good grade twos for Bruce decks right now. All right, we're on the last two packs. Let's go ahead and give this one a quick little shake. All right, where are we at? We got a uh, Keter Sanctuary and generic stuff. Grade two. Ooh, some like grade three ghost looking chef. Once this is placed on rear from drop, uh, choose a blitz order from your drop zone and you may put it into your hand. That could be good in premium. I could, I could see some uh, some versatility with this. Uh, another grade three for Brant. When it's attack hits, you choose a card from their hand and they imprison it, okay? And we got a Virena uh, order. It's you play this with Soul Blast 1, choose one of your units with Overdress State, and it gets rear. Uh, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, you counter charge one uh, until the end of turn. So that counts if it uh, attacks multiple times. So if you're able to um, swing with the unit with vi in the Overdress State and it restands and it's swinging again, you'll get the counter charge two. Um, don't know the versatility of this. I feel like if there's like maybe a way, I know the grade four restands itself, but I feel like the counter charge in this regard for using this order isn't really worth it. I feel like you'd rather have, excuse me, I feel like you'd rather have draws and you would use the other order instead. Now let's see, what is this new grade three order? Uh, you play this order with discard one, and then you choose a card from your hand, discard a card from your hand, sorry. You counter charge one, if you're in final rush, you draw two, choose two from your hand, call it to rear. So it helps you fill your board if you feel like you need to. Ooh, we got a hollowed out version of that one card that gives you gives your vanguard or gives a unit power based on the different cards in your drop and bind with different names so zorga support all right this is it this is the last pack i feel like we got through all the good stuff already but we'll we'll see what happens in this last one um rhino card all of your units same column get boost so that's pretty decent uh, if your soul has two or more grade threes, you discard a card from your hand, it gets 15k. Yeah, that's not really that great. Overlord Golden Order Blitz Order. If your vanguard is Dragonic Overlord, so it only works on the Dragonic Overlord, you choose one of your units and it gets 20k until the end of that battle. So I don't know if people in premium are going to just play OG Overlord just for using this order, but I, I don't know, I doubt it. But hey, it's 20k power to Overlord. Yeah, that's a really good defensive card. This artwork is everywhere. Wow, look at that. Um, if your order zone has no cards, this unit cannot attack. It's a 15k beater. I don't really think that's worth it. Like, just to be 15k. I feel like if you ride this in premium, just to be a 15k defense, maybe. But other than that, I don't really feel like this card is doing much. Uh, rank 8, uh, draw trigger card. So that's cool. You know, 5k shield there. And we got one of the orders for Babs Rargo. So this is the gun, Sealed Blaze Gun, Chandra. Left DD arms for Babs Rargo. You play this with Soul Blast 1. When the unit armed with this card attacks, you counter blast 2. And the armed unit gets an extra drive check until the end of battle. At the end of that battle, you put this card into your drop zone. So it gives Babs Rargo an extra drive check. Babs Rargo's own skill gives itself a crit. And I believe the Spear of the Sword gives extra power. Trick Moon is already giving extra power. So the fact that you now can do an extra drive check, that's also really cool. But it's also the, the counter blasting that gets kind of heavy. So that's something to keep in mind, but um, it's still a really, really good card to run in the deck. So I know people are definitely running at least one of the gun. And what are you? You're a double R. Diablos, Madonna, Reese. So what this does is when this unit's attack hits a vanguard, you soul charge two. If you're in final rush, you choose one of your units and you get 10k. 
pretty decent. I feel like that could be really good for Barrow Magnets too, just because it soul charges too. All right, that was it. That was that was the last pack. So I'm gonna really quickly try to see if I can find all of the high rarity pulls so you guys can kind of see what we got in this box. All right, so for our triple R's, one of the first ones we got was the Recruiting Mag uh, Magic Lava Rita, uh, the Hex Orb support. The second triple R we got was uh, Seraph Pure Light. So it was really good, really, really good card for the new Seraph Snow variant. I feel like everyone is definitely gonna play Pure Light. It's just a really, really fun card. The fact that it uh, imprisons cards from your opponent's hand, drop, and soul, so it makes your opponent lose resources that way as well. It's really cool. Our third triple R was Trick Moon. Uh, just a really, really good support card for Bazraga and also Dragon Empire in general, because when it's placed onto your back row in the center, um, from the drop zone, you counter charge one, so you can use Nirvana's skill to call it to your back row and still get that counter charge, which is nice. Uh, our fourth triple R, because we got four triple R's in this box, which is really dope. Uh, we got Diablo's Unrivaled Bruce, which is a new grade four as well, like Seraph Snow. It's like the old Bruce has Final Rush, except um, this one at the end of the battle that attacked, if you're in Final Rush, you count plus one, Soul plus five, and you stand all of your front row, including your Vanguard, and this gets drive minus two. So you get an extra Vanguard swing as well. And finally, because every box comes with an SP, we got one copy of SP Apex Suppressing Sword, Surpassing Sword, excuse me, Bastion Prime. So I started off playing Overdress with a Bastion deck. So this is really cool that I'm able to get an SP of Bastion. I feel like I always end up somehow getting these high rarity cards for Bastion. So it's just really cool. I really like, I really like this a lot. It just looks really dope. Um, so yeah, this was my box for uh, DBT04. I'm honestly, for the most part, except for like maybe the grade one, I'm really happy with these pulls. These are all really good staple cards like in this pile right here. This one is like good for Hex Orb. So I can't complain. I, I have a Hex Orb deck, so I'm gonna need it anyways. But yeah, thank you again for watching. Again, thank you to Triple Sleeve TCG for sponsoring this video and always supporting our content and supporting this channel. And thank you guys for always coming out and watching these videos and checking out my polls because, uh, you know, it means a lot to me that you guys want to come and see the content that I provide for you guys. But yeah, you're going to be seeing some deck profiles pretty soon. I'm just waiting on some other cards to come in the mail. We'll be updating deck profiles, maybe showing some uh, standard D series fights with some updated decks as well, since the grade fours are pretty cool for the most part. And uh, we're definitely gonna be doing some V premium content once Clan Collections 3 and 4 come out as well. So stay tuned for that. Like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.